All right, so today we are gonna be checking out the Dolphin RC2808 1300 KV FPV motors. And this motor is designed specifically for seven intra larger FPV quads. And the best part of it is that it is super budget friendly at just only $14 each, which is basically half the price of most of the other competitors. So yep, how good is actually gonna be performing and how is the quality? Well, let's throw them into a seven inch quad and let's find out. All right, so before we dive in, let's take a quick look at the spec and the build quality. So this motor is gonna be featuring a two-piece design. You can see a top piece and a bottom piece. And unlike Unibel motors, they're gonna be more lighter and more affordable. Though, like when you're doing a two-piece, it's gonna be slightly more vulnerable to impact. However, consider most seven-inch builds are just not meant for aggressive bandle bashing. So the trade-off shouldn't be a deal breaker. So yeah, I am okay with them using this. That's not a problem. As for the design wise, I really like the look of the bell. The red and silver color does give it a really good pop. And the building prop locks are just a neat touch to keep your props extra secure while your motor like while your propellers are spinning. And the overall quality, I would say it seems that it's actually pretty solid. So nothing major to like nitpick here. But yeah, just if I really wanted to pick on something, I really think that Dolphin RC can probably redesign their logo a little bit because this one, it does seem a little bit too generic and it's just like something kind of like coming from the computer system words, you know? It doesn't like looks too good to me, me but that's just me. All right, so basically this is gonna be the visual check done. Now let's actually look at the quads that we will be using today. All right, so this is gonna be the quad that we will be using for today's build. It's gonna be a custom HGLRC Recon Long Range build a while back I did. It's currently running on 4S setup using MAPS 2806 motors, but thanks to the 50M ESC, we can just confidently run these on 2808 1300 KV motors on 6S, so it should not be a problem. All right, so time to make the upgrade. Let's get going. Hey, what I'm planning to do is I'm just gonna do one and I'm just basically gonna finish the rest to save on time because yeah, it's really hard to do it under those kind of cameras. Okay, so just basically remove these screws. Very simple. It should be like a really, just a streamlined process. All right, next we're just gonna be desoldering these motor wires so you can desolder everything at once or I'm just gonna solder, desolder one so we can show you. Okay, so very simple. Okay, done. Okay, I'm just gonna pull that motor like that. Okay. Let's just free these cable. So we should always go in sequence like that. So one, two, three. Just make sure you're soldering, connecting it in sequence, and it should be okay. in so it should be very simple all right we're gonna flip it back to the correct location and we're just gonna be pulling these wire to its max and then you're gonna to just start like lining them up to make sure they are just at the correct length so this one correct a little bit extra so we have the wire leads coming out okay first one no problem just make sure you kind of leave yourself a little bit room just in case it is too short if it's too short basically that's called game over and you have to use additional measure to do it and it's just going to be a hassle so make sure you don't do that okay so the third one is going to be here okay looks good Next, you're gonna grab. Next, you are gonna be grabbing a wire stripper. So let's just rip the wire so it's going to have stuff coming out for us to solder. It's not hard to do this when you're having like another wire thing up there. Next, you're just gonna start adding some solder on top of the wire cables. And 
Next, we're just going to be connecting these cable back to the pads. Start with this one. All right, so basically that's gonna be the first one completed and we're just gonna finish the rest off screen so you don't have to watch, right? All right, so all four motors has now been mounted. Now let's actually just plug in the battery to see if we are actually getting, everything's working. Okay, it does seem that all four motors are powered enough. That's a very good thing that ESC is working. So now let's just flip an arm switch to see if all four motors spins. All right, so this is very good. Now let's actually just mount on some props and we can go out the field to give it a test. All right, so we're switching the scene to my local park and it's gonna be a perfect day to test fly this giant quad because yeah, there's absolutely no people here and the weather is really nice. So yep, pretty excited for these Starthane RC2808 motors. Let's just plug it in a battery and let's give it a go. So for the battery wise, we will be using the Tatsu R-Line 5.0 1400 6S LiPo. All right, so basically let's flip the arm switch and let's basically give it a go. Wow. This is definitely pretty smooth. Like for 15 bucks, this is not bad. And when you're putting like such a big motor on top of this quad, it feels more nimble actually. Because when I was flying the like the, I originally have the 24, I, I, I don't remember the exact number, but it was the 4S in the smaller motor. And it definitely feels like the quad is a little bit more sluggish, but when you're putting this motor on this seven inch build, it does feel pretty nimble. I will assume that we will be able to do some like tricks with it. Let's actually punch up. Oh, you can see that it has really nice like power actually right now. Wow, this is actually not bad. It's even performing better than I thought initially. So split S maybe? Let's give it a try. Okay, that tree should be good. All right, so it's always, it's always a little bit, ooh, actually it's not bad. You can see that, wow. It actually performed better than I thought because when you're freestyling such a big quad, it's always going to be a little bit tricky. But wow, this is actually better than I thought. You could definitely have fun with this thing, but probably, yeah, since we're running a bigger motor now, it could potentially suffer from like a little less a flight time but i would say that's gonna be probably okay and also another thing to consider is that we're actually using light pole battery so yeah you're gonna get a little bit more punch up power is considered like you have you're gonna have a high, higher c rating but if you're gonna use lions yeah you probably will get longer flight time but when you're punching up it's gonna be a little bit more sluggish yeah just i don't have the lion batteries to show you because i don't have a 6s lion so that's why we're just using this like tattoo pack. Like this is the biggest battery I have on my hand at the moment. So, but overall I would say this is really a really good experience when you're just putting this on. My God, this feels like a freestyle quad already. Consider we're also carrying a GoPro, obviously. Yeah, when you're carrying a this kind of size GoPro on a seven inch, it's nothing, but hey, you gotta give it credit. But you can see that, wow, this is actually fun right now. I'm actually more excited to fly this quad now because like, before when you are actually using the smaller like motors yeah it just doesn't feel this nimble so right now it just feels like this thing is alive Pre previously i was thinking like it might just be a yeah a regular like cruising machine but this one you can definitely do both so flight time is something that we haven't tested yet but i'm probably will see if i can get like a light on battery later on to see yeah we can test it Flight time seems pretty okay. We're already passing the three minute mark and we're still at 22, 22 volts. So, hey, this is not bad. So actually, these Dolphin RC motors, I think they are pretty good for the price, definitely. Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is a seven inch quad, man. I never like expect that I can actually do that. Ooh, okay, probably no y'all spin, like too slow of rate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, so another, I would say another advantage of these motors are they are cheap in a sense. Yeah, when I'm building like seven inch quad for mountain cruising, my philosophy is I kind of want the quad to be as cheap as possible because 
Now, when you're doing such a low mountain cruising, there's a high chance that you probably will lose it because there are all kinds of stuff that is going to happen. So this is something definitely that I think you should be considering because, yeah, when you're losing like a helium, let's say, like it's a thousand bucks, right? If you lose that, it's going to hurt. But this one is only going to cost you about two or three hundred dollars. So definitely, probably this is, yeah, when you're doing like a long range mountain cruising, unless you're super rich, then yeah, probably do the option ones. So yeah, these are going to be the Dolphin RC motors. They're about $14 and yeah, so far, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Consider that I'm able to bring this seven inch completely alive. So if you're interested to check out the product, the links are just going to be down below. Yep. And yep. I think that's going to be wrapping up this video. And if you have additional questions, feel free to let me know in the comments section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.